Alright, this is another video sponsored by Casual Malaysia. So in this video, I will teach you how to use the new Casual 570 EX to solve the three variable of linear equation for this topic system of equation. So for this topic, normally you will have a three different linear equation. When I say linear equation means what? The power of X and power of Y and power of Z all are just power one. So this is the reason why they call linear equation. That means you, you will not see x square, y square, or z square over here. So you can see all the x, y, z are power one. This is the first thing. Uh, the second thing is for this kind of three variables questions, you always will have three different equations. So that means you kind of need to solve the three different equations to find out what is the value for x, y, and z. So right now, I will not show you the manual way because i already made the different videos to show you how to solve this kind of question manually but in this video i will teach you how to use the casual calculator to solve this kind of question actually quite simple here so the first step is you need to go to the manual and then you need to look for equation and function in your menu here so you need to go down one two and then next here, do you see this one A, equation of function. So then you press equal to enter it. And then next step, you will go to the uh, simultaneous equation, which is one, I will press one. All right, then here they will ask you like number of unknown. So you have X, Y, and Z. So basically you have three number of unknown. Then I will tap three here. Okay, then you can see carefully here that actually they, they allow you to insert the three different equation. But then the problem is, uh, for these three different equations, they must be arranged in the pattern of x, y, z, and then equal to the number. So when you come back to your own question here, the first thing you need to make sure is, uh, this question is arranged accordingly because he, like the first equation, actually they arrange accordingly. But for the second equation, right, you see carefully, this one is not equal to zero. Uh, I mean, it's not equals to the number. So therefore, I need to rearrange the second equation to make it look like the pattern, the calculator one. Same idea for the third equation. So therefore, I will just rearrange uh, everything. So the first one, I basically already arranged, so I can just copy it, nothing very special. So they want x, y, z, and it equals to a constant value here. And then for the second one, it's 6 over 5x plus y, minus z equals to zero because i must equals to the number the constant number here then the last one will be 4x plus i will go to the y first before the 6z okay plus y but negative y move to the other side become positive y and then plus 6z will equals to 33. so you realize i rearranged everything already then i will just insert all these numbers the coefficient of x y and z and the constant into the calculator so let's say the first equation i will just insert the 3 2 and 5. so i will just 3 and then tap equal and then 2 i tap equal and then 5 i tap equal and then they will ask about my constant value i will say 27.5 i tap equal right then here i will do something like 6 over 5 and I type equal and then this y is 1 I type equal and then z is negative 1 I type equal so over here since it's 0 already you cannot type equal here because once you type the equal here they will say it's the infinite uh, solution here so what you need to do is uh, you just uh, just going back here I just press AC to going back then what you need to do here is you just ignore the zero because the zero is the number what you want. Okay, so you can just go to the third equation here. So my x here will be four, my y here is one, my z here will be six, and then the last one, this one will be 33. Okay, now you can press equal one more time. Then the calculator will tell you all the answer for x, y, and z. So therefore the calculator actually tell me, okay, my x is 5 over 2, and then my y will be 5 over 7, and then my z will be uh, 26, 26 over 7. Yeah, actually it's quite uh, simple. Definitely in the exam, you cannot just type the whole thing into the calculator to get the answer. You need to show the working by doing the substitution method or elimination method. But 
uh, the good thing about the calculator is you can always use the calculator to check your answer because you need to make sure your answer is correct so i i find this feature is very useful for most of the modern math student or mf student because yeah you will need to use the calculator to check your answer and i will always recommend you to do this also so if you are interested to buy this calculator i will share the lazada link at my description below the link will bring you to the casual flagship store because right now uh, the Casio Malaysia are doing the promotion. Whoever buy this calculator from them, they will actually free you a Casio L file. Uh, I believe this file is waterproof. So this is how you insert the paper into the L file. I believe you know what is L file. And at the same time, if you insert the promotion code, which is my name, uh, I will share at the description below as well. They will give you another 5 ringgit discount for the calculator. Yeah, I guess that's all for this video. Yeah, if you have any question, please post at the comment below or else I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.